I really wonder what the last thing you'd be thinking about in a place like this before I share with you the view. I wonder what the last thing you'd be thinking about in a place like this. What's cracking, everybody? Mighty Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here. Hailing to you from Maui, baby. That's correct. We are in Maui, Hawaii. It's so funny, man. I, I tell everybody I'm Filip I land here. People from these things, they talk to me in the in Hawaiian tongue, and I'm like, bro, I'm Filipino. I'm Filipino. I'm Filipino. We share the same love for eggs, rice, and spam, but I'm Filipino. But what's the last thing you'd be thinking about here? What's going on, everybody? Uh, jo Jordan, want to say hello? Say hi, Anzum. Say hi, Anzum. You having fun? Is this his first time on the beach? Yes. Want to say hi? There it is. He's saying, jo Jordan, say hi. But guys, I, uh, I want to share this view right here. This it's my son back there. Say hi, Jojo. Jojo, say hi. <laughs> you having a blast? Yeah, and I ended up getting hurt. Uh oh, but you've been you've been attacking those you've been attacking those waves though. Yeah, I know. Great job, man. Wow. So anyway, uh, what's going on, Kimberly, Michelle, Maxine? Yeah, he's he's got <laughs> he's got a sand stash. But look at the, look at this beautiful island out here, Shh. guys. Uh, I'll tell you this, I'm uh, coming to your position right now of extreme gratitude and humility, and just thankful for what God has created. Sheena's up in here right now. She's at the spa. Sheena's getting her massage right now. But I know sometimes when you guys have been looking at this pandemic, a lot of you've been looking at business and career, and things may not have been going your way. And I was just like that many many years ago. I was coming out there, United States Marine Corps, as a sergeant in the Marines, and making twenty thousand. You got to answer. Making twenty thousand dollars a year as a sergeant in the Marines. I was a single father at that time, is wondering how to make ends meet, and uh, you know, I I had my uh, uh, my ups and downs with finances. I've had my ups and downs with decisions. I've been in a position where I was wondering how to put food on the table, and thankfully, thankfully, somebody introduced me to the life insurance industry. Thankfully, somebody introduced me to entrepreneurship. And as of recently, the last six years, thankfully, somebody taught me th how to start thinking like an entrepreneur, think skill, create jobs, think about creating value for other people. And uh, instead of thinking of just success, think about service. You know, success is yourself, but serving others, it's a whole different aspect to it. And that's why I'm so thankful and grateful for this company called People Helping People, PHP Agency. And, and by the way, stay posted because we're gonna do a bunch of these live videos. It seems like the internet is solid here. We're bringing about two, three, four hundred of our guys here from the mainland out here to Maui. They're all flying in right now from different parts of the United States of America. And the last thing that I am thinking about right now is all the distractions, the no's, the rejections, the setbacks, the failures. It's the last thing I'm thinking about right now. What I am thinking about right now wrapped around this whole overwhelming amount of foundation of gratitude and thankfulness is that I've had people around me to guide me and coach me and lift me up at the times I felt down and somebody keep me accountable to my dreams and my goals. That's my CEO, mentor, Patrick but David. It's absolutely changed my life. You know, his YouTube channel right now is over 3 million people. He's a he's a, a considered a leader in the world in terms of a YouTube channel for entrepreneurs called Valuetainment. But he helped me take a $500 investment. He said, help me take a $500 investment. And years later, we created a $44 million company out of it. Uh, I, I got out of the mindset of just being a salesperson and got into the mindset of being an entrepreneur, creating scale and systems. And now the benefit of all that is having our kids, here. This, this is my son, what you are experiencing with me right now is Jordan's first steps on the beach. And he's, he's about to be two years old tomorrow, this little, this little two-year-old here, soon to be two-year-old tomorrow. And that's what he's looking at right now. Why? Because I decided to push through the nose, right, Jordan? I decided to push back the failures, push back towards the failures and embrace those failures as ways to get better. That I took those, those rejections and setbacks and say, you know what, I need to be more consistent. I need to skill up and improve in certain areas versus being discouraged in certain areas. And what I do as an entrepreneur, what I do in business is not rocket science. Getting out here to a location like this without a college degree, without rich parents, without a credit score, without a lump sum of money to start my business, but nothing than a cell phone and hustle. 
and drive every day, every day, just getting at it, every day, just getting consistent, more, more and more engrossed into personal development, professional development. Sorry about that. Um, and we get to enjoy this. My son right now is just celebrating it. And we get Jordan right now is just, Jordan, Jordan, say hi. <laughs> oh man, so glad you got, hey, say hi, Ansem, look at you. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are able to share this moment with me. And I can't wait to share this moment with you, with your children. And uh, it was cool as uh, our good friends, Rodolfo and Ceci Vargas, they're coming out with their son, Milo. Our good friends, Jose, Marlene, got time to come out here too as well. They just found out they're having another baby. Yes. Dad, 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 I just saw a teeth. You just, oh my God. you just saw what? I was, I was fighting the wave and I looked down and I saw a sea turtle. You saw a sea turtle? Yeah. Let's go and see. Then I'll, oh, hopefully it's still there, but you need to go. You leave. saw a sea turtle? Yeah, I did. Right up here? Yeah. And then I saw this another animal. Uh, I don't know. I, it's a type of fish. I didn't. It, it was like thin. And it had like a mouth like this. And then it had a tail. Right out there. Right yeah. out there? Right out there. Let's see. You know what JoJo's not asking for right now? He's not asking for all the presents on the Christmas tree. Do you remember what your presents were for Christmas? What was your present for Christmas? Do you even remember? Uh, hopefully I do, but hopefully. I I got like this like a robot thing. They battle, and you can get like the okay. like, better belts. So, so Jojo, what do you think? What do you think you're gonna remember more? Your Ro your Roblox, or do you think you remember Hawaii more? Uh huh. What do you think you remember? I, I'm just curious. What are you gonna remember more? This Family? experience here. Family. PBD. <laughs> I'm doing. <laughs> There's Patrick but David there. Like Mr. Universe. <laughs> So <laughs> uh, PBD. PBD, do you have a moment? You want to say a few words? I, I got that live video. Okay. Roger that. So guess, guess who just guess who just came out of the spa? Would it, it take more than handsome? I'll watch it for a few minutes. Patrick, I was just talking about uh, the last thing I'm thinking about right now on this beach. I'm not, I'm not thinking about the failures, the setbacks, the yep. no's, yep. the chargebacks. Yep. You know, all the mistakes, the problems. Yeah. And uh, I was saying, we're just like you, many out there, you know, uh, feeling the same way. So yeah. Pat Patrick, so somebody's out there. Look, okay, I just ran into everybody. I was just talking about them. So which group is this? This, is, this is Facebook Live. Facebook Money Live. Money smart guy, Facebook Live. It's crazy. Let's come over okay, here. Yeah, yeah, roger that. By the way, they just met at the spot. So interesting. He was flirting with her and she was flirting with him. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. I'm glad you're... Uh... You can tell them now. They have a very, yeah, very they've nice been flirting stuff. for a good time. Though. This is this is <laughs> years of flirting. <laughs> we're we're on no, a Facebook no, no, we're Live. Doing we're doing a Facebook Live. Yes. So, so people dreams and goals and turn into reality. Push back the nose. It's crazy if you if you think about yes. like this property. I came here yes. uh, February. Can you watch it? February of 04. February of 04 with my dad. Exactly 17 years ago, we came here and we stayed in the room all the way in the corner. Our view was the view, the parking lot. Okay. We got less than 500 bucks to uh, uh, my name. We had nothing. <laughs> we, we went to the local, I don't know what he called the Publix here or whatever yeah. that thing is. And we bought a bunch of food for the week because, you know, we couldn't afford a $40 breakfast a day. Now we're staying at the penthouse. I got to, you guys got to come up. We got to spend for some sure. At the presidential suite. They have one. And, <laughs> and you're in it. stayed there. Trump <laughs> stayed there. Jordan stayed there. Everybody stayed there. We're having a great time. Now we got 400 plus people that's going to be coming out here. So. But I uh, wish you guys were here having a good time. Obviously, the weather sucks. You know, <laughs> some of you guys that are in Chicago, I'm sure you, 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 we, you know, you, you don't like the 80 degree warm water, <laughs> kids jumping in. But anyways, wish you guys were here with us, you know, spreading, having a good time with the rest of the guys. And thank you for sticking to your yes, dreams, PBD. Of course, buddy. All right. Of course. Guys, uh, Gina, this guy's like a linebacker. <laughs> He's like nonstop. <laughs> That's what I said. I said. Is he like that constantly? All the time. Yeah, he's it's like nonstop. Jordan. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't have our nanny. So. Because of. She Sheena. Sheena just got. Sheena just got out of a uh, massage. So we're we're switching back and forth. Our nanny couldn't come out because uh, she was afraid of COVID nineteen, which is understandable. By the way, did a lot of tedious work to get out here. A lot of tedious work to get out here. Uh, uh, we had to get COVID negative tested. Uh, we had uploaded to the site. United Airlines checked our our COVID nineteen negative test. It was a tedious process, but guess what? It's it's all the while worth it. So for those of you out there out there right now looking to take charge of your personal finances in 2021, I want to encourage you, no matter what business that you're in, no matter what endeavor you're a part of, 
it's 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 a challenging year. I, I totally get it. And there's been many many challenges that a lot of us had to overcome. I really uh, am inspired by the Money Smart Movement organization last week in Louisville, Kentucky. In spite of the the the, the snow. The whole country was obliterated with snow and sleet and ice. We had multiple people get involved in in canceled flights and rerouted. We had some people get into access along the way because their cars um, slid off the road, but they they checked the cars somewhere else, put it in somewhere safe they can retrieve it later. They got a rental car and they made to our big event last week. And I can tell you right now that that's the type of mindset and attitude and heart is going to take to get to the next financial level of your life. Most people sit back and complain but the folks at the Mighty Smart Movement organization, also our, our relative um, sister uh, uh, side, uh, uh, partners in business, uh, uh, We The People organization and Alliance and LDP, they came out too as well and packed out the Louisville Convention Center. So I'm so proud of them and I cannot wait to celebrate these moments like this, the beaches of Hawaii with you because you stuck with it long enough to have your efforts begin to compound because you started to work hard at the right things. I want to encourage you with this video. I want to send you some love and gratitude and appreciation for following me here on the Money Smart Guy. I'm just I'm just a regular dude, man. I'm just a regular dude that started thinking differently. And I started being specific with the people I surrounded myself with. I started being intentional with my time. I was just like many of you who was just wondering, did I get involved in the right industry? Is entrepreneurship right? Is getting involved in the insurance industry, the industry to be a part of, because there's so many shiny objects right now that people can find themselves distracted. They can make money now, but will you make money for the long term? Are you gonna be an accidental millionaire or are you gonna be an intentional millionaire? And so I wanna hang around with the intentional millionaires, not the accidental lucky ones. And so with that being said, if you're out there, you wanna be intentional about it. intentionally blast through the setbacks, intentionally blast through the failures and use those failures as seeds to recreate yourself and find out what areas that you need to get better. There's been many times I've had to say sorry. There's been many times I've had to say I was wrong. There's many times I've had to say, you know what, let me check my ego and instead of get bitter about situations, let me find ways to get better about situations. And when you do so, you're going to find yourself in situations like this too as well. So that being said, guys, much love from Hawaii to you back home. And uh, that being said, guys, stay posted. We got a ton of stuff here. We want to share on Facebook Live video. We got some interesting videos coming up here on Seven Fear Squad YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on Facebook right now, you want to encourage an entrepreneur, share this, like this page, Facebook uh, on Facebook, Money Smart Guy. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications. Be alerted next time we upload our next episode. With that being said, guys, here from the beaches of Maui, baby, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue smart, continue smart, and be money smart. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye.